Never before have architects and engineers had a chance to be so creative when designing a new building. Economical and technical advances have allowed them to build unimaginable shapes and forms. This huge amount of possibilities is also driven by site conditions, economical aspects, architecture, and engineering considerations. Yes, designing buildings is a complex business, influenced by many different aspects. And I'm here to say, aerodynamics must be one of them. With Ingrid Cloud, a flow simulation platform, we always advise architects and urban designers to run wind analysis in the early design stages. It's a fairly simple task that will provide important data to orient their design choices. I'll show you how. This is Bridgewater Place Tower, the tallest building in the city of Leeds, England. When the full force of the prevailing high-speed winds hits the side of the building at an altitude of 70 to 100 meters, it's pushed downwards and around to the side. This is called the downwash effect. The building then acts like a funnel, squeezing a large volume of air into a smaller space, forcing the wind to accelerate up to five times its original speed. What you see in this virtual simulation has actually happened many times there, and it became a well-known example of how wind can become a really dangerous force acting upon pedestrians. Now, just as an experiment, let's say the building corners are a square shape attempting to break down the wind forces. The alternative design reduced the wind velocity on the pedestrian level by approximately 20% compared to the original geometry. So listen to the wind. Understand it. Having accurate data for wind behavior was never so easy and affordable. If you have a question about how a wind analysis can be useful for your project, leave a comment and I'll help you out.